could have at least helped me with those guys. They finally tracked me down. I thought I'd have more time. You've come about the broadcast, right? Risky, I know. But it had to be done. So you know who I am. Who are you? Well now, a hero. Look at you. I come from a place far to the northwest. It's called the Pit. It's, well, let's be honest. The place is a nightmare. Radiation, mutation, disease. But the worst of it, my people, some of the only survivors, are slaves. No big deal, you're thinking? It's a rough world, but I have a chance to free them. All I need is an outsider's help before that chance is gone. The Citadel, huh? That's the Brotherhood of Steel Fortress, right? Yeah, I know about those guys. He must have been part of the attack that cleaned up the pit. Well, it didn't so much clean it up as it calmed it down. No way that hellhole could ever be cleaned up without the cure. That's why those guys were after me. The pit's a mess. Nearly everyone who lives there is either sick, dying, or worse. It's the water. And the air, you can't escape it. You stay there a few years, and no matter what, it'll get you. But the bastards who have my people, they found a way to cure it. And once they have that cure perfected, we don't stand a chance. So we need the cure to bargain for our freedom. The city is controlled by a man named Asher. He's powerful. No one there dares go against him. No one except me. I need you to sneak into the pit and find a way to get close enough to him to steal the cure. Nothing to it, right? They know that I know about the cure. All of them will be looking for me by now. That's why those guys came all the way here. I came here because I needed an outsider. Someone like you who has the strength to pull off what I need. It's the key to a cure for the mutations. Everyone in the pit is mutated in some way. Some are just sick. Some are... worse. The bosses have the key to the cure. With it, we can take control of the city and free my people. Well, you might try a disguise. They probably won't let some random armed waster pass the gates. But if you look like one of the working stiffs, you should be able to slip in with no problem. Lucky for us, a group of slavers is nearby waiting to make a sale. You should be able to get one off of them. They're off to the west, near the tunnel that leads to the pit. That should be our first move. Whatever, just get the outfit off of one of them while you're playing hero. I'll stay here and meet up with you when it's done. Then we'll head out to the pit.
my god. Are you killed them? Are you real? You're here to save us? Where are we going? Wait, we're free? You're serious? You killed them and we're just free to go? You're either the kindest person in the world or the dumbest. Either way, thank you. I can help you. It's the least I can do. What is it that you need? That guy over there on the mattress died last night. I never did get his name. If you don't mind the smell, you can just take his. We will. Thank you again, stranger. We owe you our lives. say, hero. Just don't take too long. We need to get started. This ain't a short trip. thing. Relax, it's not about you. It's about your companion. We only have enough supplies for two. He's gonna have to stay behind. Besides, we don't need a, uh, whatever he is tagging along with us. He'll only draw attention. Yeah, that's the way it is. You can hook up with him again when you get back. Now come on, let's get going. Someone's coming. Let me do the talking. Hey, hey! What are you guys doing here? I might ask you the same thing. You got a lot of guts coming back to this place, Werner. Yeah? Well, I guess that's the difference between us. I have a lot of guts. You don't. Forget him! There's no time.
This is as far as I can go. It's up to you from here on out. Don't expect to take anything you have in with you. They'll strip you clean, but I'll find a way to get your things back to you. Once you're inside, find a slave named Medea. She'll be able to help you. Remember, your goal is to get access to Asher and find the cure. After you have it, I'll contact you. That's it. Good luck. We're counting on you.
I love it. Another slave wanted back here, huh? What's wrong? Couldn't get over the bridge? You're lucky I don't fucking paste you. Why, I should... Wait, what the... Now, would you look at this? Where'd you get all this shit anyway? Whatever. Mine now. Thanks, Gab. I hit the jackpot today. Now get back in there and get the work, or next time I'll just stake you out there for the drugs. <laughs> the main boss took all the dumbass slaves' goodies. Is I'm gonna cry to Asher. to the family. I'm not cheery, really. I've just accepted my role here. I found a book once. Medea read part of it to me. It said, the master doesn't try to be powerful. He is powerful. An ordinary man keeps reaching for power, and thus never has enough. I'd like to be free, but I'm not. And the harder I cling to that idea, the more miserable I'll be that I'm stuck here. And this work is hard enough without extra misery. Speaking of which, I should get back to it. sent you, didn't he? Good. He finally found someone. We can't talk out in the open like this. Meet me in my house as soon as you can. We'll talk there. Anthony's sick. He sent me to take his place. What's up? Yeah, what do you want? I am working. You must be new here. I serve the slop to the other slaves. You want food? Let me know. The good news is that this crap is nearly unlimited. But it's mostly radiated water and trog meat anyway. You want some or not? It's your funeral. Here you go. but we shouldn't take too long. They saw you come in here, so they'll come looking for you if you take too long. I have a plan for getting you into Asher's palace, but we need to wait. 
In the meantime, you're going to have to blend in. I don't know what you saw on the way in, but the guards don't really take kindly to workers just standing around. You're gonna need to look busy, or they'll sniff you out pretty quickly. And if they get too close, you don't look like you belong here. So I'm going to send you out to do a job that will keep you away from the guards. Outside of the mill, there are a bunch of old steel ingots just lying around. Every so often, the foreman puts out a work order to collect them. It's practically a death sentence, and they never assign it to anyone. They make us pick who's going to do it. Bastards. What in God's name is a super mutant? You know what? Never mind. Whatever they are, you're wrong. What it is full of are trogs. You're either an idiot or a smartass. Either way, I don't think it's funny. They're what most of us hope we never become, but the contamination gets to everyone. For most people, it's some form of cancer. Sometimes harmless, sometimes not. For others, the contamination drives them insane. If it doesn't kill them, it changes them. They become animals, deformed and inhuman. It's not pretty. They're everywhere and they kill on sight. I can't really help you there. Ask around. Maybe check with Marco in the mill. He's been making some of our tools into weapons. You might even be able to find a gun on one of the dead bosses out in the steel yard. They... What was that? What's going on in here, Medea? Who is this scam? Um, nothing. Uh, nothing, sir. I, I was just telling this new worker about the job the foreman posted. Oh, yeah? So he's the one that's going out to the steel yard, huh? Yes, sir. I told him what he needs to do. He knows. Ten ingots, as fast as he can. Well, then. I hope you also said goodbye. <laughs> All right, playtime's over. Get to work, grinders. Asher up there in his palace and us down here in the muck. Don't... Jackson, man. Don't forget it. So loud. The bosses can't see what I'm up to over here. Making weapons. Lots of them. There's something coming, and soon. So, I take the crap we find out in the yard, and some of the tools we use, and I make them into stuff we can fight the bosses with. Yeah. You're the one Medea told me about. Werner sent you, right? I can help you out. Take this. It's called an auto axe. Nice, huh? I make them out of the old car parts the breakers drag in from the city. Do what you can with it. Just be careful around the bosses. Make a wrong move, and you're done.
Thanks for patching up that asshole. He's got at least another week before he drops dead from exhaustion. <laughs> You're the lucky scab gathering ingots for me today, huh? Good to see a little enthusiasm for once. Well, follow me. So, still your duty, huh? Who'd you piss off to get that difference? Actually, don't even... It's not like you'll be alive for long anyway. Got a light step there, Grinder. I'm gonna go upside your head if you don't get out of my face. See that fella up there? You'll be seeing lots of those. And if you survive them, you'll probably run into those crazies that live up on the blast furnace. Tell you what, why don't you do me a favor and get killed close to the door? That way, I don't have to walk so far to loot your corpse, eh? Here's the door. Get out there and grab some ingots. Don't come back without at least ten. Turn them into me and I'll see if I can slip a little something your way. Brother John John, you remember me, don't you, Billy? Billy? Ha, ha, ha. 